That evening, we were invited to a party. At the heart of Pompeian life is a strange brew made from the roots of the sacal plant. Every evening, the island shakes with the pounding. I had heard that sacal was mildly hallucinogenic. Maybe this would be the experience that would enable me to see indigo again. I would think a state of mind is also a state of the nervous system. One knows, for example, that when people are excited and manic, colours look brighter and fresher, and certainly with intoxications, and almost everyone who takes pot will say colours become brighter and more various and more themselves. I'm sure there must be physiological changes in the nervous system and visual cortex when one gets into sort of exalted states of mind and that these can transform colours without distorting them. One doesn't know what other people experience. When you say red, I don't know what you mean by red. It may be that for a visionary or a Vermeer, colours are very different from what the rest of us experience. I have the feeling of some lack of filtration of, of sounds. I almost feel as if I'm in an aquarium of sound. You know, Oliver asks for more. <laughs> Sacco I had last night, I think, might well explain why, why I'm lying on my back and actually unable to get up. Um, it tends to induce a certain delicious heaviness of the limbs and a languor, and, uh, and one appears to be floating. I had long waking dreams of some old reveries last night in which I relived the coral reef floating over it and seeing the colours. At times, I almost thought I hallucinated indigo. But it continued to elude me. For those of us who see colour, it is a vital ingredient of feeling, of meaning, of understanding the world. It is a wonder and goes far beyond its utilitarian function. We could scarcely bear to lose it, for this would strip our world of much of its coherence and beauty. But for Knut and the Pingalapis who have never seen colour, and for whom it has never been an ingredient of mind or feeling, the world is built in quite another way. And all that the rest of us pour into colour is for them poured into other aspects of vision and other senses too. Like taste and smell and sound.